All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to be looking to put an end to all of the confusion. So for all of you people which have been following our free uh, signals over on Mutru.ninja for cryptocurrencies, or you're a master ninja which gets the uh, the signals for the crypto and also the stocks as well, and you're wondering things like, what is a lot? You know, when it says buy one lot, sell 10 lots, how much is that? Why is it that some of the signals appear there over on the Telegram group, but they're not on the website or they're, they're on the website, but they're not in the Telegram group? What is going on with these signals? And just uh, how does it actually all really work? And can you trust it? So that is what we're going to be looking at here in this video. But first of all, before we do that, I just want to show you something which is uh, a bit of a deal going on right now, which I think is pretty cool. Now, when it comes to hardware wallets, you might have seen me in a previous video mentioning about um, the things that I like and don't like. Basically, my Tracer wallet over here is uh, something I paid about £170 for back in 2017, 2018. So when Bitcoin was really high, these hardware wallets, just like GPUs for mining cryptocurrency, they get really, really expensive. It really does pay to actually invest in one or two of these now while, while they're actually quite cheap before the, the full proper Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin halving um, bull run really takes off. And yeah, so I thought this trader was absolutely awesome. I never thought much of the ledger. But I trade, tried this uh, SafePal, so I did a video on that, I'll leave a link there. Uh, and I thought the SafePal was like super sexy and like really nice. Got a nice camera on there, nice color screen, some buttons, and it's this sort of black glossy look on there. Oh, it's gorgeous. And, and it really made me think that maybe I was missing out and, and not giving a fair go to some of the other hardware wallets, just sort of being too um, sort of like stuck on the trays uh, and not really allowing myself to have a look what else was out there. Right now, we have the Ledger Nano S. And uh, so right now, the, the Ledger, Lano, uh, Ledger, Ledger, Ledger Nano, <laughs> Ledger Nano S, that is going for, I believe it's 100 and something, something, 50, whatever it's going for. Anyway, right now it's 50% off, right? So you can actually get a deal because of the Bitcoin halving. So, you know, it was a few days ago already. So you need to kind of get on this as, as soon as possible. Basically, if uh, I'll leave a link down below this video, obviously it's an affiliate link, which means you know, you um, you may be gifting me enough money for like a half a pint of beer or something. It won't be a lot, that's for sure. Um, but you know, just for I throw it out there if you want to use it, that's cool. Um, so we got here, we got get 50% off if you use this here. So this is We Are The Ball Run. All you need to do is pick what color you want. And uh, I don't particularly like the black one, as I said before, it just looks like a standard flash drive. It is quite horrible, quite nasty looking. Uh, you got some girly pink there, if you're a girl uh, or into that sort of thing. In fact, most of them, even the green looks pretty girly. They're quite pastel type colors. You know, you've got some wild saffron if you like that. Um, so I, I do quite like the transparent one. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, quite sci-fi looking. Uh, and the blue one isn't really all that bad. You know, it's it's okay. I could live with that. Uh, if you're going to add that to your cart and then head on over to the checkout, you can see that's uh, £63 right there. Uh, and then if I go to the checkout and then right here, you need to be writing uh, in We Are The Ball Run and then apply that code and it goes from 63 down to 36 pounds. So I believe that's probably even cheaper than the safe pal or very, very close to the price of the safe pal. So if you are looking for a nano nano ledger S, then now's the time to get one. Basically now's the time. So they, they've got that. It's only running for a couple of days. If you want to get one, you need to head there quick and get it while they're still on this deal. I may just go and do that in a bit. But first of all, let's get back on the uh, back on track and talk about lot size and what on earth that is all about, really. So basically in the new master signals, we are tracking 50 different cryptocurrencies and 50 stocks. So those are the top blue chip stocks uh, which pay the best best dividends, best PE ratios. And we've got the 50 best performing cryptocurrencies 
on the other hand. So we, we've got sort of the best of both worlds there. And what we needed to do is basically be able to divide up your, your portfolio so it can be diver as diverse as possible with as many of those different special little treats in there as we can possibly pack in. Um, the reason being is because uh, like back in 2017, that was when I wrote the Bitcoin multiplier method and I also made the, my first decent amount of cash trading. That was with cryptocurrency and I'd done that through just buying a little bit of everything and kind of hodling out and also, well, if you read the book, you'll see the full strategy in there. But basically, the most amount of money that I made, I got through investing in XRP. Now, I never would have imagined that, that would be the case, but that is what happened. So the idea here with diversification is just that you don't really know which one's going to outperform the most. So you really want to get as many of those as possible into your portfolio and not be overexposed on other ones which may go pop and go down and uh, lose you a lot of money. So yeah, it's all about diversification. It's really not difficult, this stuff, but it just takes a bit of practice, a bit of getting used to. I notice a lot of new people in trading in cryptocurrencies coming in saying they want 25% Ethereum, 25% Litecoin, 50% Bitcoin, and then the next thing, uh, like Tron goes to the moon and Litecoin goes down. And they've lost money and they never had Tron, so they never, they never got the benefit of that. So what you want to do is kind of like have a little bit of everything. So what we've done is we've divided up each basket. So we've got our cryptocurrency basket and our uh, stock basket and we've got 500 lots for each. So say we've got our 500 lots in cryptocurrency. That means that uh, we can basically have 10 lots for each cryptocurrency. However, you're not necessarily going to be getting that all of the time. You're not just going to buy that much of each one. Uh, you want to actually trade and sometimes when you get a really nice juicy opportunity you're going to want a lot more than 10 lots in a particular currency so so this is what we're looking at over here so hopefully this will actually start making sense uh, as we go along now looking here on the master signals you can see here we're, we're we've got engine coin we're selling one lot there and we're selling one lot there and as we go down, let me see, what have we got here? Here we go, so 12th of May, we've got sell one lot of engine coin. And again, on the 12th, sell another lot of engine coin and another lot. So engine coin must really be spiking up right now. In fact, if we have a look at it, we can say that engine coin is in fact spiking up quite a bit. Here we go. So now we've got buying three lots on the 11th. So we've had, you know, like the, the 13th, the 12th, the 11th. Now we're on to three lots. And the next one should be four lots. If we scroll down, we should get to the 10th. Somewhere here on the 10th, we was buying a, quite a lot of stuff here on the 10th. Uh, got energy, engine coin. There it is. So engine, it's four lots. So there are two types of signals running on the new master signals before we just had the plain old signals which are called the rst model so regular stability trading system and really that's about just only trading when it goes up out of its usual range or down below its usual range. Unfortunately, what we found is a lot of the times uh, it's going up, it, you're wanting to sell, but you just don't actually have any coins to sell. So we built in a new strategy, which is a daily strategy based on daily price action. It's really good. It is extremely, extremely good. You could just run this on its own without the volatility one. You make a ton of money, but with the volatility, uh, trading signals you're also managing to sell off right at the very peaks right at the tops and also right at the bottoms but just a very small amount each time so you're just taking a little profit and you're buying in nice and cheap and just how much you're buying at those levels is also dependent on the overall bearishness or bullishness of the market okay so those signals are great. The RST signals haven't really changed much from where they were before, but instead of just tracking like 15 or 12 currencies, whatever it was, now we've got the RST signals running on all 50 cryptocurrencies 
and all 50 stocks as well. So that's great. We've got the volatility in the mix there, but we've also got these daily signals as well. And what you just saw was the daily signal. So on engine coins, we got four, three, two, and one. So if you add up four, that's what you're buying on day one, three, that's seven, then two, then one, it basically gives you 10 lots. And that is your little basket for this sort of daily signals. And let me show you now how that would work. If our signals were running off the old Heikinashi system. This is the Heikinashi system that we use for the free trading signals. This is exactly how it would work. However, these new daily signals, they do something far more powerful than the Heikinashi system. And I'm not actually gonna tell you ever what that is because it's so cool and it makes so much money. It is too good, it's too good to share. At last, we, we made something like that. So. Um, here we go, this is what we do. So, so the first green candle, as per the Heikinashi system, you'd be buying there. So this is where you would go in with your four lots. You'd buy four lots the first day, three lots the second day, and then you'd get two lots, then one lot on this day here on the 12th. Or really, Heikinashi being a little bit lagging, you would actually buy, buy your four there, then three, then two, then one. So the reason why you're going to want to do it this way and we've back tested all of this over like the last six months or so on like years of data with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is you don't want to go all in with your position straight away. Now take a look right here with Engine Coin. Just imagine you went all in based on this one, this candle here, you decided on this day to go all in with your full lot, maybe even 20, 25% of your portfolio if you were crazy. And then the next day, whack it goes down now if you only put on four lots and it goes down you take a small loss however as as you see here over here and over here and over here as it goes on day by day by day and you're growing momentum and you're just pushing more cash into that asset at some point it's going to go down but once you have your full uh 10 lots in there on the daily the only other way to trade that then is on the volatility from the RST signals where, where you're either going to be buying more through that or you could be uh, just selling off those tops. Just check it out here on energy. So if you were buying into this one and then as it's coming up here, you'll be selling off on the RST. And then again, as per the Heikinashi strategy, as soon as you get that red candle, as soon as you get that red day, you are all out of the market. You don't just stagger and taper your sell off and just sell off four, three, two, one, all the way down there. Do not do that, absolutely not. As soon as you get that first red day, so as soon as that, as soon as the price data comes through for that red candle, you're gonna get the uh, the order to sell all 10 of those in your basket. Now, it doesn't affect the, uh, the normal RST signals because uh, if you're selling off up here and you're buying up down here and you're selling off up there, you know, to in order to buy there and sell there, you don't wanna be, mixing that in too much with the daily system and mixing strategies you want to make sure you're getting the best of both worlds so one thing you're definitely going to notice if you are looking at the telegram signals and the signals on the site as well is that um, you you don't have all of the signals coming through on telegram so when you get the to these signals here at one o'clock in the morning we've got sell energy uh, but you're not getting the daily buy en energy or engine <laughs> that is uh, you're not getting all of those signals come through. It just comes through as this, just 15 new daily master trading cryptocurrency signals, just to let you know that that's how many have come through. And then you'll be able to find those on the actual uh, system here. Uh, and you can see that they all come through at one o'clock in the morning. So basically that runs at one o'clock every single morning. And you're not gonna want your phone going off being in, you know, like 50 times at one o'clock in the morning, that could end quite a few marriages. We didn't want to do that. Um, so we, we just turned off notifications for those signals in the middle of the night. You know, you got 50 cryptos and 50 stocks all going off, binging away there at the night. You're just going to get woken up every single night. So yeah, we turned those off. It is only the RST signals which are on there 
all the time getting updated so the best way now rather than having to go all through this um, every single day to try and work out and add up how much you should be buying how much you should be selling how do you work out how much a lot is so as I said it's basically your account value let's say it's like your account is 0.126789 Bitcoin um, how do you work out the the lot size you would have to basically put that into a calculator divide it by 500 that's what the lot size would be and then you've got to sort of try and work out what you already own and oh my goodness it's crazy right it, it is difficult so I feel your pain I had the same problem with this system myself so we invented something called the portfolio tracker just head over to the masters area now and you should see this one here the portfolio tracker now this that you're looking at is just the development version of the site so it probably doesn't have this picture on anymore and uh, you know you're probably not going to see the whale fuel module in there just yet so this is just the development as I say so bear that in mind when we see the prices and that on some of these stocks uh, so yeah it comes up like this you've got your account value now you would just paste in there whatever your account value is in Binance in QCoin in OKX in hit BTC if you're into that um, yes yeah, so you can just put in anything you like so we'll just say that we've got um, 689.689 Bitcoin in there and stocks will just say um, should, should we just say we've got $500 in stocks right just imagine that's all we got hit submit and in we go so now we've got the portfolio tracker we can see all together how many lots of that stock we should be holding so this is complete lots both the daily signal lots and the RST signals all packaged up in together it is five lots you should be having in your portfolio and because you've put in your actual real um, account value into this it'll also let you know just what that should be so that should be uh, with your account value uh, about five dollars worth and that would equate to in Apple stocks 0 0.02 because obviously we only put in five hundred dollars for the entire account right so wouldn't be a lot five dollars worth of Apple probably wouldn't be worth buying but you know who knows you know if you've got a CFD account you could do that and then just before we move down to Cardano let me just show you this here so once we've got like a hundred different assets in this list it's gonna get pretty big so what you can do is actually filter out some of those stocks and just go straight for cryptocurrencies and here you can see now we've just just got cryptos or, or vice versa just do stocks whatever you like but we're also going to be adding in commodities soon enough but not forex the reason why we're not adding in forex is basically because paper fiat money i don't believe that's going to be a market for all that much longer so i don't see any point in uh, adding that in and trading it but commodities i think we're always going to be buying gold and silver and wheat and barley sugar etc so i think commodities is worth adding stocks obviously companies and cryptocurrencies that is the future of money so just a little update there that you can look forward to and here we go so uh, yeah we're on cryptocurrencies and we had like 0.6 whatever we put in there and if that was your Bitcoin account value when you log into your account and I'm talking about your your full Bitcoin value of your account it should be quite easy when you go to OKX or whatever exchange that you use it should tell you your account value this is what it's worth in Bitcoin that's the figure that you put in and then that's going to let you know just how much you should be holding of each individual asset according to this strategy and uh, it works good it works very good okay so that is it that is the new master ninja signals and uh, everything that you need to know basically use your phone so you can keep up to date with those intraday signals going off for the RST you can track the volatility and uh, you know every time it's going off you'll know that something like engine is worth maybe selling a little bit off right now it just updates you through the day lets you know what's going on but all you need to do now is just really just check in once per day to manage your portfolio and sort of align it up make sure that you've you're owning what you should be owning and it's very easy to manage because you just put in your account value and it tells you exactly 
how much you should have of each one super easy right so i hope you enjoy that if you do let me know down below in the comments and if you've got any other really great ideas that we could add into the masters area i am all ears and ready to build anything that i believe is going to be great for our community that's it for now and i'll see you again in the next video